And now, questions for my characters. First, Og the Ogren. Hey everybody, this is Og. Uh, the comma show is telling me what the question is in, the, in my ear. So I'm going to answer the questions. Uh, first one. How old is Og? You never really know how old Ogrens get. I don't know how old I am. I don't think I'm that old. This is my first time on a battle. What presents did Og get for Sanguinara? Oh, uh, guys got me a really shiny, uh, sort of like a white rock thing. It's really cool. Uh, I don't think I lost it yet. For Og, how long have you fought to make the Emperor proud? Not very long. Uh, this is my first, uh, what do they call it? A deployment. I, th- I think that's what it's called. What does Og think about the planet breaking before the god did? I wish the planet didn't break. That, that was really sad. But, but the god was really brave. That's, that's the story I heard. For Og, where do little Ogrens come from? Uh, big Ogrens. Do Ogren currently f- under Fletcher's command? I guess that's me too. What is the most memorable story you have heard around the Emperor's light? He was a nice guardsman, and his name was, um, something Jackson, and he told us the story, Go to Feth to Sleep. Uh, I fell asleep real fast on that one. Og, do humans have free will? Uh, I don't think they got paid for it. For Og, what do you like most about your job as your fellow guardsman to the Emperor of Mankind, uh, sincerely a friend? Or have a friend? Um, I like doing the good job. Yeah. Commissars are smart so they know all the stuff the Emperor wants you to do. So then you do it, and it's good. That's what I like. To all boss Gitslayer, how's the weather down in Komoro? Uh, mostly dark, with a 95% chance of screams. For Gitslayer, what other orc clan do you appreciate most? I guess you mean not Goths. Because I's a goth, and we's the best. Um, snake bites, they're pretty crumpy too. I like them. For Vladislav, does Blockhead speak Gothic, or do you understand Orc? For inquisitional purposes. Most people on Armageddon know enough Orc to understand what they're shouting. For the same reason, many Orcs understand low Gothic. For Commissar Vladislav, Did you manage to shoot that guardsman that was supposed to be on lookout? No, he was already dead. For the Emperor, what's the best color? Green and gold. For the Emperor, is ya or ain't ya the Omnisire love a mech priest? Look, I I try to tell you like this. The important thing is that you keep me fleet and me boys all full up on companies. Uh, you, you know what? Yeah, yeah, I'm the only desire. I'm the only desire, whatever. For the Emperor, why do you want Yumi's to live in peace instead of crumping them like a proper orc? You see, I want to have a perium, and a lot of boring stuff goes into making it work, like supply lines, and uh, there's a bunch of stupid stuff. And Yumi's is good at doing boring, stupid stuff. And they ain't that good at it if they're getting their heads crumped in. So, orcs get to fight, Yumi's do boring stuff and don't get crumped. Seems to work out. Is the Emperor related to the Beast in any way? Related. Now, look, we ain't like Yumi's, where the little ones that you like spore, they kind of look like you. Nah. Me spores might make grots, they might make squigs, they might make other boys, 
It don't matter so much what you come from. Yeah, maybe I'm from some git that's named a beast, but it don't really matter. Well, Commissar Fletcher, now that you are handling the Ogrens yourself, do you have a newfound respect for Commissar Gallus? I always had a respect for Commissar Gallus and his ability to handle the Ogrens and manage them with tremendous patience. A patience that I must admit is not natural to myself. But in addition to that, yes, I've also found new challenges that I was unaware that Gallus had ever had to deal with. So yes, my respect for him has grown. So Commissar Fletcher, what were some of the custom orders that you had to learn for the Ogren? Have you ever thought of writing down your experiences with Ogren and sending them to the scholar? It might help enhance the auxiliar curriculum. From Dentius Chorus Scribe. Without going through an exhaustive list, the simplest answer is that they've been trained in a way that makes them easier to deploy on the battlefield. Their most Ogren units are taught to stop, advance, and follow. Uh, most units do not know how to retreat because once an Ogren enters a rage, they typically don't respond to orders. Keeping things succinct, they are more flexible and easier to deploy uh, strategically. As far as writing my thoughts and discoveries down, um, well, if I survive this, perhaps. Borkazazel, do you have a favorite crew member, or even like any of them? Hmm, I like them to the degree that they amuse and enrich me. Teresa has proven to be clever and reliable. Hmm, perhaps she's my favorite. Dear Kazazel, how did you meet Teresa, your lady friend? And what was your favorite job, con, heist, or scheme? Love, Roy. Love you too, Roy. Teresa was a scholar progenium dropout. They had her queued up to be one of the flame of floozies, or what did they call them, sisters of battle? She's far too ambitious to submit her will to the monkey religious leaders. And as far as my favorite job goes, hmm, I think I like what we pulled on Tartos Three. You'll hear about that soon enough, and I'll keep that a secret for now. For Malkadok, Malkadok on the wall, who's the greenest of them all? You get me off this wall right now, or I'm gonna blast your face in. Mm, but who's the greenest? Probably Gork and Mork, then Gaz Ghoul, then there's a bunch of guests that's tied. Probably somewhere in that pile of guests is the Emperor. For God's mangle, from your experience working alongside Small Girl, have your opinion on the Yumi's changed in any ways? You asked me one question and you got me mixed up with Captain Crump? Get over here! I'm gonna crump you myself! Whoa! Cap and Crump here. So, did me spirits working with the little girl change anything about the way I thought about Yumi's? Eh, not really. Being a freebooter, I've worked with Yumi's before. Tends to pay off, lest they try to stab you in the back. So you tries to stab them in the back first. Don't think the little Yumi girl can reach me back, so I ain't too worried. Well, that one titan that ran for a stupid hunt and got knitted. Do you use a titan-sized chainsaw as a titan-sized back scratcher? You dare insult Makai, Duke of Astara. If I wasn't dead, I'd have you severely punished for your insolence. Greetings, Bonehead Biff or Og, since both of you can answer my question. Or Commissar Gallus, even if I doubt he can answer from the Emperor's house. You would be surprised. I was wondering if Biff was the bonehead for the squad since the beginning, or if there were others before him. And the same about Commissar Gallus. Was he the first Commissar of the squad or no? Continue to do your best for making the Emperor happy and proud of you, mighty Ogrens, and may he protect you from the bad bugs. Aurelius Zedkiel, Chapter Master of the Immortal Wardens, of the Adeptus Societies. Thank you for your correspondence, my lord.
I have been commissar of several Ogryn units over the course of my twelve-year career. I've been involved in three campaigns, with Molek being my fourth. Bith has been with me for seven years, and has been through two campaigns, with Molek being his third. Thank you, my lord, for your interest in our humble service to the Emperor. Thank you all for your questions. I hope you enjoyed the answers. I did get a few other questions, and I apologize for not getting to them. Um, it's not that I didn't like your questions, nor did I... I didn't get any inappropriate questions or things that I couldn't put on YouTube. Um, for the ones that I couldn't get to, it was more like I couldn't think of something funny or interesting to say in response. So I do thank you for all your questions. Uh, let me know if you like this, and uh, it might be something I do again in the future if I get a good response. Thank you.